It's your rope, Ignacio. It was stinky. But uh, these are my recreational clothes. You like? They look expensive. Yes, because today we're going to be talking about a solo Hulk movie. You know, I like the Hulk. Because uh, beneath the Hulk, we find a man. And beneath the man, we find his nucleus. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Nacho! Continuing on with the Spooky Mama month of Side Flick, where you guys go ahead and choose a costume for me to wear while we dive into all the movie news that's happened the past couple of days. And as soon as I saw some people in the comments suggesting Nacho Libre, I know y'all wanted me to be shirtless and in them tights, but I'm insecure, okay? So instead you get Nacho when he's in his recreational clothes. I was so pissed this costume didn't come with the wig. I feel like it completes the outfit. They give me no wig. They give me no eagle powers. No nutrients. But some of the movies we're going to be talking about here today on Side Flick, guys, is catching up on some of the trailers that's come out the past couple of days, like the new Diary of a Wimpy Kid trailer. We have the Uncharted trailer that just came out for Tom Holland. And on the movie news side of things, we have Marvel finally working on a solo Hulk movie. A kind of a crazy update on the Batgirl movie. That along with so much more. So many of you guys give me your opinions down below with everything we discussed here today. I'm just going to say it right now. If you haven't seen Nacho Libre, this episode of Side Flick might not be as funny as you'd like. So starting off, you're talking about some of the trailers that have come out the past couple of days and rating them with our little rating system here of trash or treasure, because as you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. One of the first trailers that came out earlier in the week was the first look at the Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie. This will be the reboot for the franchise, going fully animated, very much inspired by what the books look like. This will also be a movie that will be going straight to Disney Plus December 3rd. And look, I'm a little conflicted here, because while I think the animation itself does look really nice, some of the design choices I don't think really translated well to 3D, especially freaking Roderick. The back of Roderick's head, man, just does not look right, especially if you put two of them next to each other. Adults in the room, you know what I'm talking about. You, I'm talking to you. But really, that's just a nitpick right here. It still seems in line with what the books are, and now they could adapt them all since animated people don't really age out of those roles. It's just funny how this trailer just reminded me so much of the live action movie, and it kind of just made me want to go watch that again just because I remember loving that as a kid. So I'm going to give the Diary of Wimpy Kid trailer a treasure for now, but I want to hear from you guys. Moving on to the next trailer here for the Uncharted movie that I'm sure everyone out there absolutely love without a doubt. Should we even talk about it? What? You didn't love it? What? Come on. That'd be crazy. Based off the popular video games of the same name, everybody was wondering what Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg were going to be like in this Uncharted movie that already had a lot of controversy because they went with a much younger Nathan Drake. And now that we have some trailer footage in front of us, look, I think the movie does look like a lot of fun. This could be a great little adventure movie. Seems to be like some nice action sequences in there, even some that are heavily inspired from the video game, especially that cargo scene whenever Tom Holland is rolling down the plane. But I'm going to be the first to admit also, even though I was extremely open to Tom Holland being Nathan Drake, it is kind of hard to shake off the Spider-Man Peter Parker perception we have of Tom Holland, especially when at one point in the trailer he even does the direct Spider-Man pose. It's funny you should say that, because I was looking through some old photos and it looks very, uh, similar. Get that tubby out of my face! This is a Nacho Libre episode. Not to mention, I also just don't get Sully vibes from Mark Wahlberg, and it has nothing to do with the glorious mustache that I have. But I am going to give it a treasure for now, because there were a lot of things in here that made me kind of excited to see the movie and how it'll turn out. But I am going to be a little hesitant knowing that this could turn out bad. The next movie trailer that came out today is actually a new Michael Bay film called Ambulance that stars Jake Gyllenhaal and Yahya Abdul-Mateen II. Now say what you will about Michael Bay and what he does with the latest Transformers movies, but when the guy is doing his own thing and making a straight up action thriller, I think it could be super entertaining. And plus, Jake Gyllenhaal is one of my most respected actors in the industry. Like, I watch anything this guy does, so I'm definitely on board for this. It does look like it is going to be crazy action fun. Unfortunately, though, I am going to have to give it a trash because this was one of those trailers that showed the entire movie from start to finish. Like, they managed to compress the 
the entire film into one little trailer telling you story point by story point what will be happening here. So take my word for it if you're a Michael Bay fan that this does look fun and don't look at the trailer. But if you just want to see this whole movie play out, watch that trailer, y'all. Let me hear your guys' opinion on all the trailers that have come out the past couple of days. Moving on to something here I am still very excited for, and that is the upcoming Indiana Jones movie, Indiana Jones 5. And not only did we get some bad news on the movie already, where Disney went ahead and just did a full delay on so many of their films upcoming, at least a lot of the Marvel movies just shifted like two or three months max. While Indiana Jones 5, man, they literally delayed it an entire year and I'm like what are you doing Harrison Ford ain't getting any younger but that there's been some set photos that have released about Indiana Jones 5 that just make me scratch my head and wonder what's going on and it's these specific photos that we're seeing here of some Roman gladiators at the exact same time Indiana Jones is there kind of making us really wonder is Indiana Jones 5 gonna deal with some time travel and Indy's going back in time there's even a crazier photo where if you step back from the set a little bit there's so much stuff in here that don't fit in because we have these gladiators that are from Roman times then you have a crashed World War II plane another plane in the background it might not exactly be time travel but it feels like some weird Bermuda Triangle situation where Harrison Ford's Indiana Jones might just step into a place where time kind of collides with each other. This has me extremely interested to see what they could be doing with the Indiana Jones franchise. Because after with the last movie, whether you liked it or not, you gotta admit, they went with aliens or extra dimensional beings, whatever you want to call it. What can they do in the next movie that exceeds that and some freaky dicky time travel might be the way to go. I want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts and theories on what they could be doing with Indiana Jones 5? Next up here, we have an update on the upcoming Batgirl movie. And even though I was not really Really interested or excited in this upcoming film just hearing the directors talk about it and some of the cast members they have attached now have me like I kind of want to see how this turns out especially now that we finally have the confirmation that JK Simmons will be the Commissioner Gordon for our Batgirl aka her dad and man that's not even one of the craziest parts of this story because there are reports coming out from a couple of inside scoopers one who's been giving us a lot of information on Scream 5 who's claiming even though we have jk simmons returning as commissioner gordon and you would assume okay so that means batgirl takes place in the snyder universe and her batman will be ben affleck even if he doesn't show up in the movie which we've also been hearing that this might be a situation like with venom where batgirl will just somehow become batgirl without the person who gave her her identity being in the movie but now these insiders are saying that whatever the flash does in his movie he's going to create some sort of weird time reality where the current d DC Universe that we know it and Tim Burton's DC Universe somehow merge together, retire Ben Affleck's character, and then Michael Keaton will become the Batman of the DCU, which now thanks to some weird multiverse reality stuff, this Commissioner Gordon now belongs to Michael Keaton's Batman, and he will be the one to kind of shepherd this Batgirl in her movie. That sounds like some extremely crazy and wild stuff, and I have no idea how they're gonna explain that or how other audience members are gonna even know how to make sense of that. It's even all that more compelling when you're like, this feels like it should be a big movie, then you're bringing back J.K. Simmons, you possibly have Michael Keaton as the Batman for this Batgirl. Why are you putting it straight on HBO Max, man? Shoot this thing in the theaters. But I want to hear from you guys. One, how do you feel about J.K. Simmons now officially being the Jim Gordon for this Batgirl? And two, what do you think of these scoopers saying that it's actually going to be Michael Keaton that's the Batman of this Batgirl? thanks to some multiverse jumping. And then one of the most exciting things to happen in the movie news industry for a while is we're finally looking to get another Solo Hulk movie. It's being reported here by Geeks Worldwide that a World War Hulk film is slated to begin production in 2022. Now, the credibility of this website is pretty good. If you guys don't remember, this website was one of the first people to report that Alfred Molina, Dr. Octopus, would return for Spider-Man 3. That obviously got confirmed later on. And they were also one of the first people to get all the Batman villains for the upcoming Robert Pattinson movie before those were confirmed. 
Cooper. So they do have a credible track record, but just like any movie news site out there, they have gotten one or two stories wrong. But I am tending to believe them on here now. Some of the reasons this is kind of a big deal and why we only ever got one solo Hulk movie with Edward Norton is because the rights to the Hulk are very weird. Marvel does own the rights to the character, but if they ever want to make a solo movie, they have to share the profits with Universal, who owns the rights to distribution. And it was because of this reason that Marvel could never really make a solo Hulk movie, and instead were forced to only include him in team-up films like the Avenger movies or Thor Ragnarok, where they tried their own interpretation of the Planet Hulk storyline. Well, here in the article, it's saying that Universal lost the distribution rights to the Hulk in the year 2020, and Marvel knew that's when the rights for the character was gonna expire, and they already had plans in mind for what they would do once they fully own the character back, and it seems like it's gonna be a World War Hulk movie. Now, if you're not familiar with the World War Hulk storyline, this is a story that happened in the comics after Planet Hulk, where some of the heroes in the Marvel world got together, the Illuminati as they're called, and decided that the Hulk is too dangerous to keep on Earth, so they shot him in space, he ended up in his own planet, that's where we got Planet Hulk, but then eventually he decides to come back to Earth and get revenge on every hero that shunned him out to space, mainly fighting members of the Illuminati. Now, of course, Marvel has done very different things with their comic interpretations, especially looking at what Thor Ragnarok did and how that was Planet Hulk for them, or even Age of Ultron Civil War, all extremely different from the comic books, just mainly inspired. So you could damn sure bet this will also be drastically changed, because even some of the things in the comics aren't set up for this World War Hulk movie because Hulk does not hate any of the Avengers or the heroes. So there would really be no reason for there to be a World War Hulk where he fights off against different Avengers. But now it seems pretty obvious that Marvel has been planting the seeds for this to happen with Abomination showing up in Shang-Chi and then Mark Ruffalo showing up in the She-Hulk series, which this article says that the end of She-Hulk basically sets up this solo Hulk movie. If I had to guess how this storyline would play out in the MCU, instead of it being Hulk, Hulk, who goes out and does an all-out war, I'm thinking they're going to replace him with Red Hulk, aka Thunderbolt Ross. I think fans have been wanting to see that for a long time, and it's very clear that General Ross just has a pure hate for all the heroes in the MCU, and maybe Hulk has to get together with She-Hulk to fight out, and it would be World War Hulks. That's just a theory, pure speculation. At the end, very happy that Hulk is finally getting his own solo movie and that Marvel can make more of them. I really need them to redeem the character and stop treating him like comic relief or not making him as strong as he should be. But I want to hear from you guys. How do you feel about a World War Hulk movie being in development? But that is all the movie news we currently have going on right now, guys. I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch me talk some movie news here because you guys make my life good. Really good, okay? I get to wake up and look at some movie news every day. It's the best. I get to also spend all my money on collectibles. It's fantastic. Okay, go away, go away, read some books.